Hi folks, the asset fella here. So our esteemed Chancellor of the Exchequer has decided to be less generous with your capital gains tax allowance moving forward. So I thought it might be a good idea to talk about the current and future tax liabilities that you may have if you buy, sell, trade, gift or even mine cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Ethereum. As of the date of this video, you do not pay income tax on your crypto gains. You could do if you day trade at certain levels, but it's unlikely. HMRC's guidance on this is fairly clear. Only in exceptional circumstances would HMRC expect individuals to buy and sell and exchange tokens with such frequency, level of organisation and sophistication that the activity amounts to a financial trade in itself. If the taxpayer's activity is considered to be trading, then income tax will take priority over capital gains tax and will apply to profits or losses. The exceptions to this, where you may be liable for income tax after your personal allowance, would be getting paid in crypto, receiving staking rewards, mining tokens, or receiving airdrops in most cases. HMRC's website has more details on those activities should you wish to delve deeper into the detail. But for the vast majority of us who are buying and selling crypto or just holding onto it for long-term gains, we may need to pay capital gains tax on cryptocurrency that we dispose of. Disposing of crypto would include selling crypto for pound sterling or another fiat currency, trading crypto for another crypto or stablecoin, spending crypto on goods and services, and gifting crypto, unless to a spouse or civil partner. So let's take a look at how much we may be liable to pay. With each financial year, you are given a capital gains tax-free allowance. For the 2022 to 2023 tax year, this is £12,300. For 2023 to 2004, a less generous £6,000. And for 2024 to 2025, it's forecast as a measly £3,000, although this could change in the future with a different Chancellor. Capital gains tax is also charged according to your income level. So if you're a lower band taxpayer earning £50,270 or less, you'd pay 10% tax on your capital gains. If you earn more than that, so a higher rate taxpayer, the rate is 20%. Note that the capital gains tax-free threshold remains the same for the 2023 to 2024 tax year. So let's take a look at the tax year 2022 to 2023. You and your partner or spouse have a capital gains allowance of £12,300. This becomes very important, which we'll discuss shortly. In this example, let's say you earn £40,000 from your day job, which puts you in the lower tax bracket, and you bought one Bitcoin worth £20,000. This is your cost basis, and you sold it for £30,000. The difference from what you paid plus trading fees and what you sold it for is £10,000, and this is your capital gain. However, you have a capital gains allowance of £12,300 and your £10,000 gain is within that amount, so you do not owe any capital gains tax. In this next example, if you had sold the Bitcoin for £35,000, your gain would be £15,000. £15,000 less £12,300 allowance is £2,700. As a lower band taxpayer, you would pay 10% tax on £2,700, therefore £270 capital gains tax to pay. In this last example for a higher rate taxpayer for the 2023 to 2024 tax year, earning £60,000 per year, buying one Bitcoin for £20,000 and selling for £35,000 equals a £15,000 capital gain. The capital gains tax allowance for 2023 to 2024 has been reduced to £6,000. Therefore, the £15,000 gain less the £6,000 allowance is £9,000. There is 20% capital gains tax due as a higher rate taxpayer, which means there is £1,800 in capital gains tax to pay. So how can we legally avoid paying capital gains tax? Well, these activities do not trigger a capital gains tax liability. Buying crypto in pound sterling is tax free. So is hodling your crypto, so holding it for the long term. Transferring crypto between your wallets is also tax free. And donating your crypto to charity. And also gifting crypto to your spouse or civil partner. This last one is quite important as you and your partner have a capital gains allowance each. If you think you're going to be taxed for capital gains, then you can gift crypto to your spouse tax free and utilize their capital gains tax free allowance also. So in the 2023 to 2024 tax year, you both have a £6,000 capital gains tax free allowance, giving you £12,000 combined capital gains before you have to pay tax. Your spouse could also be in a lower income 
income tax bracket than yourself, and therefore will only be paying 10% on any capital gains. Something to think about if you're in a higher income tax bracket, which attracts 20% tax. Another way to reduce your tax bill would be to use your unrealized losses. Let's say you bought some crypto for £3,000, but it's now worth £1,000. You have a capital loss of £2,000. And if you sell that crypto, you can use that capital loss to reduce this year's or next year's tax bill by £2,000. HMRC have some extra rules for working out tax if you buy and sell crypto on the same day. They call this the same day rule. They also have a 30 day rule if you sell and repurchase the same tokens within 30 days. I won't go into much detail here, but you can read up on that should that interest you. It doesn't really affect me as I'm not a day trader and I only make a small number of buys or sells each year. If you trade very often, every month, then it'd be worth reading up on this. Even if you're a high or low volume trader, or even a hodler who bought your Bitcoin some time ago and is holding onto it, you may find using crypto tax software helpful. I use Coinly. They don't sponsor this video by the way, it's just the best free crypto tax software I've used so far. It will automatically work out your gains and losses and will take into account your fees and also crypto bought and sold within 30 days etc. It uses the share pooling cost basis method which is the only method HMRC supports. It's powerful and you can connect your exchange via a read-only API to automatically update your gains and losses. Or, if you prefer, export your trades into a spreadsheet and import that into Coinly. It's very easy and intuitive. You may find that your accountant uses this software or something similar. The only time you pay for Coinly is if you want to produce and download a tax report. But you may not need to, as Coinly tells you exactly how much capital gains you do or do not owe. And you can also use it to plan your year of trading and adjust your trades and crypto allocation to make sure you pay as little tax as possible. It gives you an up-to-date picture of your finances. This is the software I use at the moment. If that changes, I'll let you know in the description below. And finally, I just wanted to briefly talk about the importance of keeping records and telling HMRC of any gains or losses. Crypto exchanges such as Coinbase are now sending HMRC information on people who have bought and sold crypto with them. They have to do this to operate in the UK and to comply with UK regulations. So it's important not to keep anything from HMRC. If crypto tax seems overwhelming or confusing, use crypto tax software like Coinly for free to determine if and how much tax you owe. You could also consider using an accountant who knows about cryptocurrency if you think that would help you. Above everything else, please keep good records, even if you owe no tax now. You can do this by simply exporting your trading history from your crypto exchange once a year, and keep it as an Excel spreadsheet or CSV file. Not all crypto exchanges will keep your trading history long term, and HMRC puts the burden on you to keep detailed records. Even if you owe little or no tax now, those coins you hold could explode in the future, and then when you do start to cash out and consider paying tax, HMRC may question the history of the coins, for example, when and for how much they were bought. Your bank may also question why you just dumped a large amount of money into your account. Keeping good records and paying any tax due will help keep HMRC and your bank happy. Check out the description of this video for any updates, also to the links to the only crypto exchanges I trust and use. Some also have tasty offers. I'll also link to the crypto accounting software I use. I hope you found that interesting. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you wish to support the channel. It's very much appreciated. I wish you a very very nice day and I hope to see you soon.